And he's not somebody you can just pick up and say, I, I want to win a local today. No, it's like you have to put yeah. a lot of time, especially for a lot of the It takes house. a lot of work. He's a very technical character, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, here we go. The match that we were talking about. We get to see uh, Cookie Slayer, a.k.a. Zan, coming out. And uh, Fox 16. And honestly, I haven't really gotten to see a lot of uh, Zan's uh, Young Link yet. Which is going to be really cool because we're going to see him utilize Boomerang and um, using the Fire Arrows as well, which are great setups, setup tools and combo tools. And yeah, Fox 16 bringing out Snake. I think it's really cool. Usually uh, we're obviously used to seeing him uh, go Fox, so it's pretty cool to see him trying somebody else out. And are you familiar with these this matchup? It seems <laughs> pretty interesting to see like a grown man just beat up on this kid here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a matchup that we have seen a little bit more if you're used to uh, the local scene. We do see sometimes Key versus Zana Fire and Dice. It's been a while since yeah. I've seen that. Uh, but Zan does typically well against Snake. He is really good friends with Key. He's really good friends with uh, Johnny Westside. Two of our Snake players who are also PR. So it's kind of oh, yeah. how the character works. J West, I totally forgot. I haven't seen J West in a quick minute. It's been a I, while. I hope to see him out pretty soon. Oh, yes. Yeah. Always good to see uh, faces. <laughs> that fire arrow. I like how he tried ducking underneath it, but it's still caught, anyways. We've got the leopard print snake coming out, too. I like it. Okay, wow, that up tilt. That was crazy. That was such a threat because he could have like laid it, laid it down, go for a trap, and then Zan had to literally just kind of guess what he might have been going for. And the fact that he just tried to approach Snake with an up tilt and then he got up tilted, it kind of hurts. Wow, did he just fall out of his bear? Yeah. Oh, that was a little unfortunate there. But um, yeah, Fox 16 actually keeping the stock at 170% here and uh, racking up the damage almost to 80% on uh, Cookie Slayer. Yeah. Zan, can I call him Zan? I don't know, I'm so it's, used to it's so Yeah, Zan. we all are, but he lost the bet and he had to change his name. I heard, yeah, I heard about it. It happens. Yes, I'll have to call him quick, so. Um, <laughs> It's just so funny. The one thing I do like that Zan is doing here is he's making sure he has a lot of the space. He's kind of stopping <laughs> Fox 16 from going for any aerial approaches. So he knows with that, that boomerang, nice. he can't control that space. But unfortunately, he got the top wow. rate on that one. And Fox 16 took that stock. Nice, good neutral air. Yeah. Bounces back with a grenade. I like that. That was that was cheeky. <laughs> that was actually almost really good. Um, but yeah, this is this is close too. Bringing it back, and now it's one one on both stocks here. And Zan was able to bring that back a little bit. I know Fox sixteen held the lead for a little while. Um, and yeah, all these projectiles too. Is both of these characters are just throwing bombs everywhere, back and forth. And when you're playing against a projectile player like Young Link, it's hard. Yeah. It's so ready for him to toss the bomb lower, mm -hmm. so he would have been going for an aerial. There. Good forward air. The one thing that Zen has to be careful is how much armor, I'm sorry, which move he's going to be able to use to knock a snake off of the Cypher. Because it does have about an 8% threshold of armor. So if you do not have any move that deals higher than 8%, you will have to wait for him to recover from the Cypher. You know, there's um, I, I was just about to say, and he brought it out, I didn't get to really see him bring out Nikita as much. It's kind of hard, because it doesn't look like he really even has an opportunity to bring him out. Youngling's pretty fast, and he's always constantly throwing something in uh, Fox's face here. Yeah, and Zan able to clutch out that game over Fox 16. Man, if you're looking at the faces I was looking at... I, I was so... Like, <laughs> are you going to move? <laughs> are they going to move? Like, yo, man, they look a little, they look a little frozen there. I had no idea what I was watching, but hey, man, those, that, that exact expression, I felt it too. <laughs> I know, he's staring into the void here for a second, like, did that really just happen to me? <laughs> I, I didn't even want to say it, but I was like, yeah, it looks like it, it froze or something. Um, wait, how are we seeing? Oh, okay, we're seeing you through that camera too. I was so confused for a second. I was like, wait, how are we seeing you on the camera right now? Oh, man. But yeah, my, maybe we'll see a character switch. Yeah, probably um, not sticking with Snake. I was going to say, like, Fox team was doing pretty well. It wasn't until the end where yeah. he was able to catch up and take it over him. He, like, hesitated, but he's like, nah, like, I almost had that. It was close. Yeah. But bringing yeah. it to Battlefield now. Sorry, I didn't mean that. No, no, I don't know why I'm interrupting you. <laughs> There's so much on here. I, I definitely don't want to interrupt Zan because he just got a quick 47% on Snake here. Oh, yeah. Okay, good air dodge up onto the stage. Good roll, too. Able to just catch up immediately where 
Foxy singles gonna land, gets the back throw, sets up Boomerang high. I like that play. Almost tries to get him with the down air. That would have been enough percent. The thing about Cypher too is that you have to respect the fact that it does have super armor, but that does start on frame seven through ninety-four. And the earliest oh, you can man. actually get him out of it or cancel the move of frame forty-seven, and it's got six percent base damage. Yeah, it's Zan all over. Um Fox 16 now, not letting him have any breathing room. And wow, that bomb actually disrupted the kill confirm. Yeah. Which I think Zan was looking for an up air there, which would have taken the stop. Uh, yeah, but this is definitely um, looking actually a lot better for, excuse me, Cookie Slayer uh, this game. Even though <clears throat> it was a counter pick stage, I just think uh, Fox 16 is having a really hard time uh, figuring out how to get in, how to rack up this percent. And uh, yeah, you just needs to spam pr his projectiles. For, for Fox 16, the one thing he needs to be looking to do against Zan is making sure he lays out traps for Zan's approaches. But it's so hard for him because wow. Zan is able to just control the zone, have the speed, but also have the projectiles to combat Snake and stop him from getting in. He's controlling the zone, but I'm not seeing a lot of like C4 setups. Uh, I'm yeah. not seeing as many bombs as we usually see coming out from Snake. And I think he's just a little overwhelmed with all, you know, blocking and shielding all the other projectiles that Cookie Slayer is throwing out. So it's like he's not setting up his... Um, his uh, stage. Not only that, I want to say it's a perfect way to say it because he's not really setting up the stage for him to actually take a victory. We do see the C4, but he had two missed opportunities, and Zan's making sure that each time he's on the stage, there's a lot of frustrations to go through. Yeah. Like Boomerang, he has to hold shield, mm -hmm. right? The fire arrow, it can confirm to one of Zan's follow ups. Yeah, and it, like, honestly, it looks like he's looking for the up, <laughs> yeah, up till confirm, but we know that doesn't kill until around like 170% <laughs> when you get that grab um, down throw up till, but. Um, 160 to 180 is the, uh, the percentage. Is it? I always, usually I see it usually happen around like 170, but I guess it's that sweet spot, 20% yeah. ish range there, um, which is nice. Oh my god, that <laughs> smash attack is insane. If that connects, it could kill you so early. But he's bringing it back a little bit here. He's just at a really high percent. And yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be really hard <laughs> to take it out. You're, you're feeling the commentator's curse out there. And so far, Zan waits for the landing. Good oh, opportunity. And he sees that he had to go for the directional air dodge. Snakes love their directional air dodge onto the stage, though. Because their up your recovery is so vertical. It's just limited. Yeah. Yeah, he just throws a grenade at Youngling's face and he just stares at it. That's one of those like, nah. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Doesn't even, was <laughs> it doesn't even explode. It doesn't even dent what, the <laughs> what happened? Why did that? Um, so oh all links God. in this game actually have a thing known as Active <clears throat> Shield. That's very, very <clears throat> canon with their game. Okay. As long as they stand still, I don't remember the exact frame.